Wasn't that a good meeting this morning, Mr. Oldman? Oh, yes. I've been so proud of Beaker showing all those spiritual pictures and Bible verses. Absolutely. And isn't it good he brought his friend Toby Toucan along as well? Though, um, I will confess to being a little distracted by that young bird's habit of cracking nuts and spitting out shells. But it was very good to see him come. Oh, here comes Beaker. Ah, Beaker. What did you say? You're, you're off? to hang around with some of your mates for an hour or two. Well, you said that yesterday, you were gone all afternoon. <laughs> oh, of course. That is when you took young Mordecai to the playground. I was just saying how impressed we were with you, Beaker. Hmm. Beaker? Beaker? Oh, you seem to have gone, and I was hoping to find out what happened yesterday. It looks like you can do just that. George and Morag have come online. Hello, George and Morag. Good morning, good morning. Morag was just telling me about the fun afternoon uh, she had uh, had, and can't wait until next time. Oh, so what did you get up to in the park? Oh, it appears that she watched while Beaker, Toby Toucan and Callum Crow pulled, pulled pine cones off, tree, off the trees and fired them at people walking below. Hmm. I would guess that not everyone found that prank funny. Oh dear. Moreg says that when people complained, the bird shouted back. Oh no, I'm almost too afraid to ask, but what did they shout back? Oh, no, Morag, that was not funny. These were very, very rude words. Swearing is not clever or amusing. <gasps> oh, how shocking. And sadly, it looks like our dear Peter is acting like two people, the kind and loving one with his family and the church. And a monster when he's with his friends. I wonder what he's up to now. Perhaps we should go and see. <coughs> that Beaker you're saying? Beaker? Where are you? Oh, look, it's Linda. Hello there. Hello there. I've been told that Toby is up to mischief, so I've come to sort him out. I think I can see them both hiding behind that wall. Got you. Toby, I am very disappointed in you, and I'm sure that you've made Jesus very sad. Oh, hmm. perhaps you should have read my verse of the day, Beaker and Toby. It is from James chapter 3, verse 10. Out of the mouth comes praise and cursing. This should not happen. As Christians, 
we've chosen to live God's way. Bad behaviour and swearing is not God's way, even in front of our friends. You're sorry. Well, that off. Okay. Nico, what are you doing? You're being very, you're being very naughty. Don't throw bread around. I'm not sure that Beaker is sorry. What about Toby? Is he sorry? We can pray for both of them to make the right choice. <laughs> you still want to go to church because you've heard they will be having good biscuits again after the COVID restrictions. Morag has just asked me if Beaker and Toby will be allowed to take her to the park again. They promise they will keep away from Callum Crow's gang in future. <laughs> yes, that sounds a good plan. You've got to choose friends that bring out the best in you. And keep away from the ones that don't. Oh, I have an idea. Next week, let's all of us meet up in the park for a picnic. Then everyone can play together nicely. <laughs> uh, just, 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 um, just a minute. What's that you're saying? You're planning a new game. It needs six buckets and chewed up pieces of bread. And you bet you can spit further than Toby Beaker. What are you planning? <laughs> Is spitting playing nicely? <laughs> no! No! no. no. Oh. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.